and today we're going to be doing a beginner tap dance uh, choreography tutorial to let it snow. I'm so excited because it's finally the holiday season and this is my favorite time of year. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know that. Absolute favorite time of year. I love fall. I love winter. I love the cozy vibes. I love the music. I love the holidays. I love everything about it. I love getting to decorate my house. Um, now, as a YouTuber, I do have to decorate my house way earlier than everybody else. And I'll probably explain this in the technique exercise that I have to film after this because that one's gonna come out before Thanksgiving even hits. So all my friends are like, you decorate before Thanksgiving? And I'm like, first of all, I'm allowed. Second of all, I have to, because I gotta film all my holiday content so it can come out during the holidays. So like, it early, y'all. I think today's November 3rd. So anyway, um, I gotta decorate super early, but the best part is that I love it. So I have this great excuse to just decorate my house with all of my favorite holiday stuff way early and just enjoy it for longer. So yeah, we're gonna be doing Let It Snow. This is a beginner tutorial, beginner slash intermediate, depending on how fast the version that you're using is. I know there's a ton of versions of Let It Snow. So today we're gonna be doing a finger style guitar cover but this dance, this choreography will fit to the Michael Buble version. It'll fit to the original. Is this Bing Crosby? I don't remember. Anytime there's a Christmas song and I think I don't know who did it, I just assume it's Bing Crosby because he did so many. But yeah, there's like, it, there's so many different versions of it. You can even do the uh, Captain Picard version. That's a fun one. We do that in our Star Trek show for noise complaint. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, do the thing. All right, so it starts with three flap heels and a flap ball change. So you have a one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a flap ball change. So three flap heels, right, left, right, and then flap ball change. So make sure that you're putting weight on that flap so that this foot is free to ball change. So make sure that weight is going on your foot. So three full lap heels and a full lap ball change. Let's try that again. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Full lap heel, full lap heel, full lap heel, full lap ball change. Good. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Full one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. The next step we're going to do is called a tack annie. This is, I'm sure it has other names as well, and if you've never done this step before, I'm going to sort of go over it now, but I also have a step tutorial playlist right down below in the description. Click that playlist, search for the video right on the thumbnail that says Tack Annie, because I, I label them all, so you can find the one that says Tack Annie. I have a whole video dedicated to teaching you how to do that step, but I'll also go over it here, but if you need more of like an in-depth review or explanation of it, that video is going to help you out. So you just did full lap ball change. Your right foot is free. You're going to go step, brush, touch, step, brush, touch, step, brush, touch. So you have three tack annies. So a tack ante by itself is step, brush, touch. Don't put any weight on that foot. So it goes one, or two. So you want to make sure you bring it right in. One, two, and so as I'm going, my teacher taught me that every step in tap dance is a preparation for the next step. So when I step here, I am so ready to brush or spank, whichever one you call it, and then touch. But if you're here, you're not really ready to do that. My toe is still on the floor. I'm going to have to take an extra step by like, or extra movement by lifting it so that I can brush it. So make sure that you, as you step, you are ready, brush touch. So you have three of these. One, two, three. And then another full lap ball change. So you finish both sentences the exact same way. So let's try the three tack annies and a full lap ball change. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is a six, a seven, eight. So it's brush touch, brush step. Very, very quick turnaround. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Let's try the first and second line together. Five, 
six, seven, eight. Oh, one, Awesome. Okay, so just a little bit more. Your right hand's free. You have three buffaloes. So you have step shuffle cross, step shuffle cross, step shuffle cross. If you've never done a buffalo before, I also have a step tutorial of that. So click that playlist. Find it. But I'll also go over it. It's step, shuffle, cross, and then you do it again. Step, shuffle, cross. One more time. Step, shuffle, jump, cross, and you finish that with shuffle, ball change. So three buffaloes, one and a two, three and a four, five and a six. From here, you have one shuffle ball change. Shuffle ball change. So let's try that together. Three buffaloes and a shuffle ball change. Five, six, seven, eight. One and a two, three and a four, five and a six, and seven, eight. Awesome. Let's try from the top to there. And there's only one more thing we're going to add before we try it with music. Ready? So from flat peel. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Buffalo. One, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight. Good. The last part, three Irishes and a stamp. So you have shuffle, pop step, shuffle, pop step, shuffle, pop step, stamp. I also have a video on an Irish if you need more help with that. So three Irishes, shuffle, up step, shuffle, up step, shuffle, up step, step. And you put all of your weight on that stamp. So let's try it. Wake up, computer. <laughs> let's try it from the top to there. Then we'll do it with music. Ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, one, two. because this version of the song has no intro whatsoever. It's just, oh, the weather outside. And you're like, oh. <laughs> and the way that I structured this um, choreography is that it fits the first two stanzas. But those two stanzas come back at the end. So it doesn't fit that middle section because we're using the let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. We're using like that part. Um, but those come back at the end, so we're gonna use that, but it'll fit to the beginning of all the other Let It Snows that you use. There was just no way for me to count you in because literally it's just all oh, the weather outside <laughs> and she's just going. And I'm like, oh, okay. So let's try it again. This time, just get a little bit more comfortable with it. I'll count you in again. <laughs> Now, if you need more than one more time, 
to practice it before you move on, that is totally fine. I am fully rewindable, so you can rewind this video, practice as much as you need to, and meet me at the next part when you're ready. But for the purposes of filming, we're gonna do it one more time before we move on. step tutorial for it um, so make sure if you are new to this step this is one of those that has a lot of details to it if you're new to this step please check out that other tutorial and then come back to this one so that you can learn this step properly I will go over it but it's like I can't give it the 20 minute in-depth instruction or the, I think it's 10 to 15 but you know what I mean um, I can't give the in-depth instruction in this video but I do have that video down in that playlist so you just did stamp this step is called a Broadway, a Manhattan, a Shirley Temple, an Alexander. Some people call it a butterfly. Some people call it a scissor step, even though I call it a scissor step, something completely different. Um, and, oh, there's so many other names for it. If you have a different name for it, let me know. I'm always so fascinated by that. So I'm going to call it a Broadway for the purpose of this tutorial, but you call it whatever you're used to calling it. I know most people I know call it a Shirley Temple. So... Um, two of these, you have one on the right, we'll lap, opposite heel first, heel, heel, spank heel, toe heel. So you got, we'll lap, heel, heel, spank heel, toe, and it's and one, and two, and three, and four. Um, it's going to be kind of fast. And it's a little swung. So let's try it on the right. We have full lap, heel, heel, spank, heel, toe, heel. Now we have it on the left. You full lap, up to two feet, opposite heel first, heel, heel, spank, heel, toe, heel. So you've got a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight. Now if that's like, if you're really, really new to this and that's really, really fast, I do have an alternative for you. You can do full lap. Heel, toe, heel, heel, lap, heel, toe, heel. It'll get you through the choreography. It's going to sound different from what I'm doing. The rhythm is going to be different. You're going to hit your toe when I at a different time than I do. But it'll help you get through the choreography until you have that Broadway, Manhattan, Shirley Temple, Alexander. <laughs> until you have that move and then you can replace it. But there are options. So let's try Broadway to the right and then to the left. Five, six, seven, eight. And it is a little bit swung. A one, a two, a three, a four. That is so Monty Python horses. <laughs> but a one, a two, a three, a four. Instead of and one, and two, and three, you give it a little bit of a swing. So let's try it one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, eight. Good. From there, you have three shuffle step heels. A one, a two, a three, a four, so that's three, brush, brush, step, heel, transfer your weight, shuffle, step, heel, shuffle, step, heel. From there, you have a brush pot of red. So it's called a back essence, but you can also think of it as a brush pot of red or a spank pot of red. You can also think of it as a spank ball change step. I do have a step tutorial on the back essence as well. So three shuffle step heels. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, eight. Notice I prepped for that next step. And I'm here so that I can spank. So, three. 
three shuffle step heels and a back essence. Let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's try adding it to the Broadway and then we'll add that little piece on. So, both Broadways. Five, six, seven, eight. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, eight. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, eight. Good, okay, let's try it with music. Add it on, see how we do. transition is going to go. We got this, y'all. tutorial like I said um, with my knee injury I have to keep things a little on the short and sweet side but still very sweet um, let's do one more time before we move on to the last section and like I said before if you need more time you can always rewind and meet me at the next part when you're ready Three cramp rolls. 
So, three right cramp rolls. It is toe to heel, toe to heel, toe to heel. If you want to change it up and get a little fancy, you can do a regular cramp roll, a reverse cramp roll, and a regular cramp roll. Totally fine. Or you can do like something super cute and move to the side. Anything you want to do, but it is three cramp rolls. Have fun making it your own. Three cramp rolls. <laughs> so from the five count riffs to the end, and then we'll walk through the whole thing from the beginning, and then we will do it with music. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. One, two, three. And it's on the let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Where it is in this song, it's, it's not going to do the let it snow just because it's like the end of the song, but when you do it to the original, it will sing let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It'll go one, three, and five, six, seven, eight. So E and a one, hold two, E and a three, hold four, E and a five, hold six, hold seven, hold eight. That's the count. Oh wait, we're going to walk through it. <laughs> so let's walk through the whole thing from the top. Ready? You can find the Panic at the Disco version if there is one, because I swear he does a version of everything. And uh, you can do it to that. But for the purposes of filming, this will be the last time. And that means on this channel, you have to make it fun. 
like ring in the season with this awesome song, this super fun dance, and have fun with it, okay? Let's do it. Patreon people to pick from a poll and this was one of the top uh, songs that they picked so super excited about that I love this song and I was I think I was saying this in the intermediate advanced version when I filmed it um, this is a great song if you're a dance teacher to bring to your class and why that is is because this is a winter song it is not associated with any specific holiday so if you have a very mixed class or a class for, of students that come from all different walks of life, this is gonna be a great one to do because it's not attached to any specific holiday, so you're not gonna have some students go, well, I don't celebrate that holiday, and other students go, well, I, I, this is the only holiday I want, so don't bring any other music. Like, the, no, this is like, this is a winter song. It is here to let us celebrate the season in general, which for a dance classroom, is, for where I live especially, like it's really important to do that because I have a very like mixed and diverse class. Um, some areas, maybe you don't have a very diverse class and it is totally fine to bring literally anything you want and just focus on one specific holiday. I try to change it up. I try to do like very traditionally Christmas music. I'll throw in a Hanukkah song. I'll do like a winter song like Sleigh Ride or this one. And it's, it's just so perfect to bring to a class. Um, that being said, I do have a, an entire playlist of holiday tutorials that go with like tons of different holidays. I've got a, a plethora of Christmas ones. I've got a few Hanukkah ones. I've got some that are like this that are very just ringing in the season. Super, super fun. Uh, a whole playlist full of tutorials. So if you're a dance teacher and you're looking for some content for your classes this season, I got you. And if you're just on this channel because you want to tap and you want to learn to tap, Get into the spirit of the season with this playlist. I've got tons on there because this is my fourth holiday season, which is crazy that I've been doing this for four holiday seasons, right? Like 2020, 20, 21, 22, 20. Yes, this is my fourth holiday season. That is absolutely nuts, but like in such a good way. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, also, I'm sort of skipping ahead. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and join the TAP fam because I have a whole playlist of holiday tutorials and tons of other choreography tutorials that I release every week throughout the year. Uh, we also have technique exercises, step tutorials, like I mentioned earlier, vlogs and challenges and all kinds of stuff. This is your TAP dance channel, free TAP dance class for you right here. All you have to do is subscribe and it also helps if you hit that thumbs up button. Thumbs up for the holiday season, right? And uh, but yeah, I'm so, so happy to be doing these tutorials. Like I said, I can't believe it's been four years. This is my fourth holiday season. So you've got so many options. If you're a dance teacher, grab whatever you need, learn it, take it to your class, always credit the choreographer. Um, I'm not the only uh, tap teacher on YouTube that has a bunch of holiday tutorials. There's a ton of other ones, so also check those out. I know United Taps has a few really, really great ones. I'm good friends with uh, the guy from that channel, so make sure that you check his stuff out too. Um, but yeah, happy holidays, and as always, thank you for dancing with me.